Let's tell the story of the Beis HaMikdash. It's Tisha B'Av at night. There are crowds of people walking. I hold Abba's hand and listen as he's talking. We're heading to the Kaisel. There are thousands there as well. I'm as curious as can be to hear what he will tell. My dear son Naftali, on Tisha B'Av we tell the story of how the Beis HaMikdash stood, once proud in all its glory. Yidin came from far and wide. It was the holiest place. They came to be close to Hashem in his most special space. Levian played the instruments, together joined in song. They thanked and praised Hashem, their voices pure and strong. The Kaihanim worked happily to get their special mitzvahs done. So lucky to work in the Beis HaMikdash, each and every one. The Kayan Gadol at the Menaira. It shone so strong and bright. From the Beis HaMikdash, the world was filled with light. But then the evil Romans came and destroyed what was so dear. They burnt the Beis HaMikdash down. Abba's eyes begin to tear. Abba squeezes my hand and says, Naftali, look around. This is where the Beis HaMikdash stood. Kaihanim walked on this holy ground. The Kaisel is all that's left today. It's the western part of the wall that once surrounded the Beis HaMikdash. Its stones stand very tall. We come right near the Kaisel, my Abba and me. People are sitting on the floor, as far as I can see. Wearing non-leather shoes, not allowed to eat or drink, seeing grown men weeping really makes me think. Do you see them crying, Abba? I think that I know why. They want the Beis HaMikdash back. And you know what? So do I. Abba's glad I understand that while we cry about the past, we ask for the future Beis HaMikdash. We know that it will last. I start to dive into Hashem from the bottom of my heart. I decide right then and there that I will do my part. Hopefully one day soon, Hashem will return what went away. The Beis HaMikdash will come back. Might just be today.